Okay, so we've still got a couple of projects unfinished here. Uh, over the weekend, I went ahead and pulled up an old uh, fence that I had here when I used to have a drive gate back here, but had to cut it all out here because uh, it's actually encased in concrete. I'd forgotten about that when the concrete was poured back in uh, 2006. So I just had to cut a lot of it away. So we're actually going to continue our brick border here to about where the uh, privacy fence is for the sitting area. So we'll finish that up probably today. And still got a little bit of stone to finish up here on the edge. Our patio is still letting the sand set for a few days before we start to brush it off. And a pile of bricks to finish up that project by the driveway and then probably be building another brick border along the edge here for this small flower garden at the base of my huge oak tree. So i try to finish that up today and for the most part um, oh yeah, and uh, our buddy Aureliano put this fancy little design for a ramp uh, for the patio here so I could access my driveway and uh, kind of blend in with the border uh, along the deck here. So, but yeah, it looks like well, so we might be continuing this along the edge of my fireplace down to my other drive gate. I don't think we're going to fill this all in with brick yet that may be set for another date we're just trying to finish up what we have for supplies now and probably take a bit of a break from the stone projects for a bit so we can recoup some money a little bit here so yeah we'll show you the progress as it gets uh gets wrapped up all right, the wall is pretty much complete here against the driveway. I had not stopped at the uh, vinyl fence there. And I just got a little bit of rock to get. Finish this up. Looking good. All right, looks like it's pretty much complete there. If I can find it, there it is. Looking excellent. Well, that wraps up that corner. Lucius Grassi is really on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the start of the second border for the flower garden at the Big Oak. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have a bit of a change in plans and the design here. Uh, my wife has decided to go with a bench look something that's going to be about the height of our basket there but using these cap blocks as a sitting bench on top so looks like some of our azaleas are going to get covered up from the side but uh, I don't know I guess her idea is to be able to see the fireplace from here so I mean I guess that's a good idea but uh, you know we're going to be blocking blocking up the flowers so uh, but this is her project, so I don't know. I'm kind of mixed on it. You guys tell me what you think, but uh, I think probably just leaving something, you know, like a regular border like we did over there would have been enough. But, oh well, that's what she wants. So this is apparently what we're after. I'm making a little bench all the way across. Overall, the wall turned out pretty good, but you know, the small azaleas here are kind of getting going to get blocked by this view. But oh well, so be it. Let's see what it looks like when it's complete. All right, my buddy Aureliano had to pick up more supplies, finish up the uh, the stone and brick work here. So yeah, not very many more, but this should probably wrap it up. As most projects here, you kind of underestimate and have to get back. Uh, go get more supplies basically so all right let's see if we can wrap this up all right so this is pretty much 
what the bench looks like now. I get all the way to the gate there where my vacant lot is. And that's another angle of it. And blended it right in with the flower basket here. So another fine job. Now we'll finish up the patio stone here. basically finishing up a border here along my outdoor fireplace patio, taking it to the gate there. Fortunately, we're not filling this all in yet. That'll probably come a little bit later, but for right now, this is, this is just to kind of finish up this project. All right, so now the border edge is pretty much carved out. And uh, now we'll start putting down some sand for the base. Well, this is shaping up nicely. I really wish I could have continued this on. I rather really would have wanted to fill this in, but that'll just have to happen at a later date. So, looking good. Yeah, that's pretty much wrapped up there for now. So, now we'll just go ahead and fill in the cracks with the sand and then put a concrete edging, something like this here with stones, to kind of finish it up. All right, this is pretty much wrapped up. We did the concrete border. Uh, actually, since we're probably going to be finishing this out a little bit later, we didn't want to put rock in here, it'd just be a waste. We'll have to wind up you know, t chipping it all back out and stuff, so. But yeah, this turned out really good, just this uh, edging. This basically matches with our existing patio, so now what we're doing is brushing all the remaining sand to my outdoor fireplace uh, uh, bricks here, so we can just fill those cracks in. They haven't been filled in in about three years or so now, two and a half, three years. So, yeah, but this project is pretty much wrapped up. The, wall bench wall here is complete and a little final touch on our existing flower basket Aureliano threw some uh, <laughs> threw some stones and even some seashells on the handle here being real creative and decorative here so this is uh, <laughs> this is pretty fancy a really good job on this yeah Muy bien. <laughs> El Picasso Aureliano. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>